Hello and welcome to, what day is it? It is day six of the life of my documentary. And today we are creating a backup for the iPhone. My phone is trying very hard to thwart me at every turn. You see, I should have updated the software on my phone because you know, the phone is now a computer instead of a phone. And so if you don't update the software, the phone freaks out and goes, I can't function anymore, which makes it really hard to film things with the phone when it doesn't function anymore. So I just kept putting it off because it annoys me to have to download software for it to work. Like, what have you really created if it doesn't just function? You never have to update a typewriter, for example. I think this just makes me like, inside i'm i'm actually a 95 year old that's what this is but anyway i'm trying to download all the data on my phone so you call up verizon you're hi i my phone's not working walk me through this I'm like well have you updated your phone no is your phone full yes maybe you should get it not full yes i should so I say, well, what do you suggest? And she says, well, you've got to buy more storage from Apple iTunes. No, new plan. So I said, you know what? I think I'm gonna come up with a free way to do this because I pay way more than what is reasonable for this phone already. I am not also going to buy more storage on my phone that comes from the factory with several gigabytes of storage. You know what? I was a child when car phones were a new thing. This whole idea of it having like 64 or even a hundred and something gigabytes on my phone, plenty of storage. The problem is not that I need more storage. The problem is that I need to clean my phone out. So as you can see, I set that up. Well, I went online and I said, look, I'm going to call you back, Verizon, after I offload all the data from my phone and update the software like I should have done probably months and months and months ago. So, I have Google Drive on my phone already because that's where I store all my podcast files and things. And it's one of my backups. I also have an external hard drive where I keep hard drive files. I have three places, actually. Totally lots of backups for the podcast. But that's why I have Google Drive on my phone. So, I decided, well, I'll just move everything over to Google Drive. Found out you can back up your phone to Google Drive. So, I looked up on the internet how to do that. And I went in there and I started the first backup and it goes, you have 6,000 files that need to be moved over. This may take a couple of hours. Yeah. So my phone's been sitting here and you can see now it's down to, can you see if I hold it up close enough? That is totally blurry, but what it says right there is 213 files. So we've been sitting here two hours and a half. Um, this downloading it, but we're down to the last 200. And so then I've got to check and make sure that all those files actually are on Google Drive. And then I'm going to delete them off of my phone and hopefully have enough room on the phone to update the software, which means then I can use the camera on my phone again, which I haven't been able to do because I don't have storage space and I refuse to buy more storage space on my phone all claims of me being some kind of Luddite or resistant to technological progress, probably all true. That's fine. I'm seriously considering downgrading to like a Nokia because the Nokia just never let me down. Anyway, that's one thing that I'm doing. The other thing that I'm doing today, aside from freeing my phone from storage bondage, is I am finalizing episodes for the podcast. I got some back from my editor today and we're listening to those, making sure they sound uh, the way I want them to before they go out on the, on the airwaves. And then I am also typing and uploading waivers for the documentary film into DocuSign. DocuSign is the software I use to send guest waivers to my um, podcast. And I am using my podcast guests, rather I should say my sentences completely because you're not in my thoughts. You can't hear them if I don't say them out loud. So anyway, I'm typing those up for the documentary film. I am using templates I have found from, um, I follow Hollywood gatekeepers and I also follow Jason Brubaker pretty closely. And I follow, there's a new one that I just started following. Anyway, 
there's a lot of documentary filmmaking resources available online. I'm signing up for the master class, for example, from Ken Burns. He has a master class on documentary filmmaking that you can buy. It's $99 per class, or you can pay $99 for a membership to master class and you can watch anything that's there. So I'm signing up for master class and I'm going to take filmmaking classes on there from Ken Burns. I think Ron Howard has a filmmaking one on there. I'm going to watch basically all of those and take copious amounts of notes and then apply that to making my uh, documentary film. So that's, that's also on the docket for today. But anyway, DocuSign lets you you have to type it up on Google Drive or in Microsoft Word and, and create the waiver how you want it to look and you have to go ahead and insert the lines and everything. But then once you get it ready and it says everything you want it to say, you can import it into DocuSign and DocuSign lets, it, lets you send it out to the people that need to sign it and they can digitally sign it, which works out great when you're interviewing people over Zoom in another country. You don't have to email files back and forth. You just send it via DocuSign and they can digitally insert their signature and it counts and DocuSign keeps track of which ones you've sent and who has signed it and it makes sure to send copies to everyone involved. Like a lot of times when you're, um, when I'm working with podcast guests, there's usually a press department that has to know about any waivers that get signed. They also have to review them and make sure their legal team is okay with it. So you can do that kind of thing through DocuSign. You can send the press department gets their copy, the legal department gets their copy, and then the person who actually needs to sign it gets their copy. And whenever they sign it, you get a signed copy. Now, I usually download and print me a hard copy of this. So I have files here in my office where I have a print copy. I keep a digital copy on my computer and in my Google Drive. That's overkill on the copies. I just paranoid about legal stuff. So I like to make sure that I keep everything documented that I've done. So if anybody does ask me, I can go back and find it and show it to them. Um, and that's kind of how we run things around here. But so getting DocuSign set up, I have, I'm working on writing the waivers and I'm using templates from the documentary filmmakers that I am following, the ones that they use. It's similar to the ones that you, if you've ever been an extra on a film, when you show up and you get the paper from the production assistant that says you have to sign this before you can cross this line and you know don't step on set until you have signed this. Yeah, it's that basically um, for anyone that's gonna participate in the documentary because you're filming them, you're gonna have their face and their name and their information and their organizational affiliation all out there on a public video that you want to be able to make money off of and to show at various festivals. So you have to get this person's agreement to that up front and you do that by having them sign this document. And that's helpful so that your guest, um, if rules change somewhere down the line where they now want to come back and say you should have to pay them, you're being upfront about the fact that this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm going to do with the film when it's finished and here's how your name and likeness are going to be used. So it's a two-way thing. The, the waiver makes a promise on your part to your guest that you're inviting to be a part of your project that I'm only going to use your information in this particular way. And that's your commitment in the agreement. The person participating and, and sharing this interview with you, they're agreeing to give you permission to use their image and information in these ways that you've outlined. So it's a, it's a partnership and that's what the waiver is about. And I'm typing those up, putting them into DocuSign. DocuSign is how I'm going to send them to my documentary guests. And as soon as I get them loaded into DocuSign, I'm going to start sending pitch emails. But that is the summary for day six, emptying the iPhone, freeing up the equipment, and writing templates. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.